Hey guys, so I recently went to the whole Divergent movie premiere promotional tour thing and this video is going to be me talking about my whole experience about that and I'm going to have another uh, video talking uh, the actual movie review about Divergent. So let's just get on with it. Alright, so basically when I got there, I had no tickets. I found out through a blog that the Divergence cast, the tour was actually going to be taking place in a city near me. But it turns out that all the tickets were sold out and they were going to give a few of the screening tickets to to early bird people. So basically we get, if there's any leftovers, it would they would give it to us. So I went, I literally skipped two classes to be waiting in line outside of the theater. So I waited outside in line and I was there from 2 o'clock. The event wasn't going to start till 6.30. Now, keep in mind, there's two things going on with the Divergent uh, promotional tour. The first one is they, um, they have a red carpet event, which basically a certain cast or whatever, they come and then you're able to take pictures with them, have them autograph, and ask them questions if you have time or something. And then the second is the actual screening of the movie. So the first half, I was sitting there in line with a bunch of other girls, but it turns out they had tickets, and once you have tickets, well, guess what? You could literally go anywhere, and you are still guaranteed a spot in the theaters, and um, you could go down to the barricade and be in the front to meet the stars or whatever. So I was literally there with my cousin who decided to join me and we were there for about two hours or so and we were waiting there and we agreed that it would be best to just skip the whole red carpet event and just stay to st have our place still in line uh, just in case if they give out any extra tickets or something and luckily there were these two women that they came up to us and she asked whether we were alone or if there was any more of us in our group and stuff because they only had two tickets and, I, and then we were like no 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 there's no one else and they were so kind enough that they had two extra VIP tickets which basically VIP tickets is you get um, you get to be the in the fan pit which basically they separated that area or whatever um, for when the stars come they, they just go there and then you know they autograph and sign and take pictures with you and whatever and you are also guaranteed a spot in the theater as well. So they, so the, the, these women, they just gave it to us and we freaked out like crazy people that we are. And then we went to the fan pit. Whoa, so my cousin just magically appeared. Hi. So we actually get to the fan pit area at around 4.30 and the stars didn't actually come till 7.30. So we stayed there. We were pressed up against the barricade because there was already some people there. Actually, the whole barricade area was filled with people, so you we had to make sure that we were in the front because we wanted to get autographs and pictures. And luckily, they were giving out free posters, so that was awesome. When 7.30 came, now the local radio station was there and the local newscast people, and yeah. But when 7.30 came, the stars came, and we were able to... Uh, get autographs and pictures but it was kind of hectic because there was like a bajillion people behind us shoving items books and posters and other miscellaneous stuff so after 7 30 after we got our posters signed and pictures taken we went back to the theater in which we were I thought we were guaranteed some good seats could be because we got the VIP badge but no literally it's just first come first serve of uh, try to find the best seats that you can the press had taken over all of the middle row in the center. All the best seats. Yeah, all the best seats were given to the press while all of us VIPs had to scurry for seats or whatever. I went to the concession stand to look for some food, but by the time I got there, literally they're like, the movie's starting, and they lied to me because they said that the movie wasn't going to start until 30 minutes, and the concessions line was like all the way around the block. It was horrible. So, uh, so I didn't have time to like eat or drink or nothing since two o'clock pretty much so I went to the movie theater I went to the theater we were sitting in the second row and so with all the hype about it and everyone had their divergent tattoos and I had nothing so I was I got myself I did myself a I am divergent thing on my arm that's what it is so yeah that's pretty much my whole experience of this craziness check out my divergent movie review that's coming up next alright guys thank you so much for watching
Bye. All right, so first of all, Divergent, book to movie adaptation. How was it? Rating from Percy Jackson to Catching Fire.